To write the name for Fe3PO42, first we need to recognize we have a polyatomic ion here. This is the phosphate ion. In fact, we have two phosphate ions. So we have these two phosphate ions, and they're bonded to these three iron atoms. Iron, that's a transition metal. So we have this metal, and then these nonmetals in the polyatomic ions. This is an ionic compound. So we're going to use these rules here to write the name for Fe3PO42. First, we write the name for the Fe. That's the metal. Next, we write the name for the polyatomic ion. That's the PO4, the phosphate ion, lowercase p. And so far, the name for Fe3PO42 is iron phosphate. But we said that iron is a transition metal. So we've got to figure the charge out on the iron. And we have to look at what it's bonded to to do that. PO4, the phosphate ion, has an ionic charge, the whole thing here, of 3 minus. So this is a good one to remember. We have two of these phosphate ions here. 2 times 3 minus, that gives us a 6 minus. So we need a 6 plus for all the ionic charge to add up to 0, to have a net charge of 0. 3 times some number would give us a 6 plus. 3 times 2 plus, that's 6 plus. So 6 plus, 6 minus. These balance out, give us a net charge of zero. So the charge on each one of these three iron atoms is two plus. And to show that in the name, we put Roman numeral two in parentheses. And the name for Fe3PO42 is iron two phosphate. So we need two phosphate ions, each one's three minus, and three iron atoms, each one's two plus. So the charge all balances out, net charge of zero. This is Dr. B with the name for Fe3PO42. Thanks for watching.